PeteTools.com. G'day guys, here we go today. I'm still playing with my latest newest toy that I've got, my latest placement cutter. It's pretty good so far guys. But what I want to do today is push it past its limits. It says in the owner's manual it can cut half an inch, but Pete wants to see if it can almost cut through an inch. What do you reckon? You reckon it can do it? Anyway guys, let's find out, eh? So the machine I'm talking about guys is the Best Arc 50 amp plasma cutter. This is straight out of the box, no assembly required. You just take it out of the box, plug the bloody thing in and start cutting, which is pretty cool in itself. And like I say guys, it's only designed to cut half an inch, which is heaps thick enough, I reckon, anyway. But I want to see if we can cut this with it, guys. We've got no guarantee that it's going to cut through this, but you'll find out exactly the same time as I do, if it will or it won't. So there's no trick to this, guys. This is exactly what you get when you buy this machine. It's about 230 bucks or 235 dollars when I brought it. I'm using the standard earth here. Sometimes I modify the earth so I can get a bit more power out of the machine, but this is stock standard, guys. And like I say, I've got my doubts whether it'll actually cut through this. But let's give it a go. I've got the machine set to its maximum at 50 amps. I'm running it on 220 volts. And I've got my post time at 0.2. So, you know, that's so that's two seconds. And post time, guys, is when you pull the trigger. And post time is when you let go of the trigger, the air comes out of here for a couple of seconds before you can start cutting again. It just lets your consumables cool down that much quicker. And this is this setting here, you can go from two seconds right up to 15 seconds. And bear in mind, when you adjust the post time, guys, you're going to have to have a big compressor because the higher you've got this time set, the more air you're going to use. So because we're trying to cut such thick steel, guys, I'm going to put my earth as close as possible to where I'm cutting. It just gives us that much extra power. Just, you know, every little bit's going to help when we're dealing with stuff this thick. All right, let's see if it'll actually cut through it. I doubt it. Let's have a go. What do you reckon? How do we go, guys? Did we cut through it or not? Almost all the way through it. I don't think it'll take much to get that off there. Let's have a go, Pete. Let's see if we can knock it off. We just got one bit attached here, guys, so we'll just whack them off. Yeah, Grandma! Now, that's no trick photography, guys. That is cutting through almost an inch thick late with this cheap $220, $230 placement cutter. Now I've reviewed four or five of these machines and this is the best one so far by Whisker actually. You see guys that almost went all the way through but I just had to hit it with a hammer to get it to break off. I'll show you a little trick how to make it cut a little bit deeper. What I normally do guys if I'm getting to the maximum that the machine can possibly cut is I'll take the guide off it. Now you can normally take the guide off a pilot arc machine on these cheap generic machines. I've never had one yet that it wouldn't work without a guide on it. So if we take the guide off it guys and I'll do this cut again and I'll show you the difference if I can get this bloody guide off. It's pretty tight. And now we'll go and find that later, Pete, because it pinged on the other side of the room. <laughs> Alright, let's try that cut again, guys, but with no guide. See that? We cut clean through it. And that just gave us a little bit extra depth because of taking the guide off just gets you that much closer to what you're cutting. And a lot of people say that you can't take the guide off, you can't take the spacer off a pilot arc machine. But I've done it for years and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So guys, cutting almost an inch thick steel 
with a $230 plasma cutter. So guys, like I said, if you want to see a review on this machine or any other machine I've done a review on, I collect these plasma cutters, so I've done reviews on heaps and heaps of them. Just check me uh, other videos in the channel. Always remember, guys, to subscribe if you like watching an old get talking about plasma cutting and welding. And we'll see you next time, mate. Bye. PeachTools.com. Peach